Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Happy fall. Um, today is a pantry pull leftover makeover meal. I have, these were on special for $2.99 and they're not huge, but usually when I pay for four sausages, I pay closer to $6.99. I think they're a perfect size for this meal. I like to leave them partially frozen because it makes them easier to cut up. We have our four um, sweet Italian sausages. We have some leftover spaghetti sauce from last week. Um, a half an onion from last night's supper. Can of mushrooms, some peppers from the market, and our $1 spaghetti sauce. So, so now here we go. $2.99, $1.29, and what I'm going to use of these, it's only going to be about 15 cents. And the onion's free because we've already broke into it. And the sauce is also a leftover. And as always, this is a crock pot meal. These are frozen, but they're partially thawed, which makes them easier to cut. I could actually use these um, two, just two sausages if I wanted to. But... This is going to be about a $5 meal. And these days, $5 ain't bad. Let's start by putting these in the crock pot so we can turn it, whoops, so we can turn it on. I'm firing stuff all over the place. When you get a, when you get a special on something like this, I could, like I said, I could probably make two meals out of this. One, two sausages in a stir fry over rice and pasta but I don't want to make it too obvious that I'm I don't want to deprive my husband of his favorite food group meat so we'll get these into the slow cooker and because this onion has been in the fridge overnight I always take the it, even though it was face down, I always take the air, air, the cut side off. I've heard too many things about onions absorbing bacteria from the air. So I always take the cut end off a good, you know, eighth of an inch at least. Besides, there's onions and stuff in the other leftover sauce too, right? Let's get, whoops, let's get those onions in there. And those whole mushrooms in there. A handful of peppers in there. Nice big pieces. And we're going to keep that on high. And later we will put in a our, our dollar of sauce and our leftover from last week. All right, let's have a look. Oh, yeah. It's sizzling away and it smells so good. So our sausages are like 90% cooked and so is our veg. So now we're gonna drop in the leftover sauce from the zucchini spaghetti. And it has zucchini and onions and chives and all that in there. You know what, that actually might be enough for supper tonight. Nah, I will try one more time to, oh, thank you, God. My hands do not want to open jars anymore. Little tiny bit of water. Rinse out the jar, give this all a lovely stir. Look at that. And we will have that over squirrely noodles when Howard gets home. Tonight's pasta is literally called Scooby-Doo. So here's our Scooby-Doo's. We're going to dish Grandpa up a plate. All right. So it would have been thicker if I had added zucchini, but uh, I got more zucchini. Anyway, so here we go. This is our Italian meatball, or Italian sausage, Scooby-Doo, 
father might want some more sausage than that. All right. I'm going to pepper this, Parmesan cheese it, and we'll take it to Grandad. This is Italian sausage. Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo. Gracie. Get your face out of my Scooby-Doo. Now there is more sauce if you want more. It's, it's hot. hot. It's hot, yeah. Mm. The flavor of the sausage goes right through the sauce. Mm. That's very good. Oh, she's look at look at Miss Pouty over here. Oh, <laughs> she's pouting to give her a noodle or something for the love of goodness. We do. There you go. All right. Awesome. Thanks, dear. So that is your pantry pull leftover makeover meal. Uh, Italian sausage Scooby Doo. And the whole dinner, I don't think, cost five bucks. Mwah. Take care, God bless.